boy Shot. Shot versus everybody podcast, man. Episode 70. Got a special guest in the building, man. Dirty D, what's good with you? What's going on, man? Not much, not much. Oh, yeah, man. Appreciate you coming on the show, bro. Already. Now, we usually uh, start the show off with a uh, salute me while I'm here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we wait for people to pass away to tell them, you know what I'm saying, how good they were or whatever, instead of giving them their flowers while you can still smell them. But it can't be the obvious. It can't be mom, dad, kids, you know what I'm saying? Try to think outside that box. So you got anybody in your mind? Yeah, I actually got two people. All right, uh, go ahead. One is uh, one of my good friends, Chad Roto. Okay. So okay. he is like a mini Pharrell. A lot of yeah. people don't know. So, you know, he make beats, engineer, yeah. shoot videos, mm -hmm. uh, anything you can name of. And, you know, the style is Pharrellish. For sure, yeah, so yeah, yeah, him yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and Earl Mac, man. Er yeah. Early Mac. Oh, yeah, uh, dope, dope. A lot of people don't know, like, he he's... I call him the Godfather. Yeah, yeah. So, he was the first person to put me in the studio. Okay. Um, I remember him, you know, Sean, Mike Posner, mm -hmm. Dusty before yeah. Dusty, like, Dusty used to sound like Sean. Yeah, you talking about Dusty McFly? Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yep. Dusty was cold. Yep. So, you know, and, and Earl Mac, man, you yeah. know, I call him the Godfather. So, that's about it. Man, Chad Roto, though, I remember him just uh, hearing him because uh, my boy, I had him on the show, Kyle Mack. Yep, yep, yep. Kyle shout Matt. out to Kyle too. Yeah, yeah, because he always, I think he uh, he be at his studio all the time <clears throat> recording all his music there. Yep. And I noticed that y'all be uh y'all got a lot of stuff on, on on previous projects and stuff together. You and uh Chad. Yeah. How y'all meet though? So we met at Eastern. Yeah. Eastern Michigan. So we was at co we was in college. Yeah. Uh, I, it had to be some party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was, sure. You know, you see, you know how like niggas get cool looking at a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like damn, she got an ass on her. Like, yeah. don't she? And it's like, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what up, though? What's up, what up? You know yeah. what I mean? Chad, I saw things one of them yeah, yeah, type yeah. moments, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, it's always be a girl can always get you, you know what I'm saying? Beefing or cool, one or two. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> one or two, dog. So that's how y'all met Eastern. Yep. Mm -hmm. My salute, dog. I'm a, uh, I don't know. I think I saluted my cousin already, but I'm going to give him another salute because yesterday was his birthday. And he uh -huh. got accepted to uh, Alabama A&M. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's a big step, man. Yeah, that's a big step. I was a little jealous because I'm like, damn, that's the one thing I regret in my life, bro, is not taking it serious with high school yeah. and going to college and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, he good grades, great parents. and Shout out to my Auntie Candy, uh, Uncle Corey. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to uh, little CJ, man, going to school. Uh, I know you're going to a black school, man, so stay away from them chicks, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Try to as much as you can, man. At least for the first two years, yeah, man. Yeah, have a little balance, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, shout, shout out to him, man. So we always start off, man, before we don't just jump right into the music, man. We like to get a little background on the artist. So let me know how it was when you was a, a little dirty. <laughs> so a little dirty. Yeah. yeah. Like, how, where you grew up at, like East, West? Who, so, was, who was in the crib? I'm, I'm from everywhere. So I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, okay. So uh, I was born in Little Rock, Arkansas. My dad got into some legal trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know, okay. he had, and he had to do a bid. Yeah. So I got sent up to Southfield, Michigan. Okay. Uh, with my grandmother. Okay, okay, okay. So um, you know, it, it was it was cool. Yeah. Everything was was nice. You know, the suburbs. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, I stayed where I stayed down the street from where Blade Icewood used to stay from. Okay, okay, okay. So like, I'm right by like five minutes away. I'm in the yeah. city doing yeah, yeah, some yeah, dumb yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, you know, three four years after that, I went back to Little Rock. Okay. Because my you know my dad had got out did did, did a ten. Yeah. A nine or a ten. Oh, he did a nice yeah. little time, nice yep. little stretch. So then went back to Arkansas. Then middle school came back here. Yeah, and then like it's been back, back and, and forth. forth. Yep. Man, what's the uh, what's the difference and what's the same between Detroit and Arkansas, the little little rock? So what's some things that we no, might not this know? This is a huge difference. I don't think shit. Oh the yeah, same. <laughs> I don't think. I know. Yeah, yeah I don't think shit the same. So so down south is slow. Oh so yeah, it's like, for sure. Music. I'm gonna I'm gonna get there when I get there. Like the whole mentality is just. Hey, you want to go? All right, cool. Yeah. And everybody taking their time. Like, us, <laughs> we in a rush. Like, nigga, it's 10 o'clock. Nigga, mm -hmm. you talking about some going to the liquor store? You should have been got the liquor. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, so we always in a rush. And then everything down there is just, is, is hospitable. Yeah, like, hell yeah. Up Midwest, East, we mean as fuck. Yeah, niggas be like that. Like, nigga, why is you looking yeah. at me? Nigga, Girl, I was on my way here. Nigga, nigga, be like, what up? Yeah, nigga, look at you like you don't belong here. Like, I live right here, dog. Because like, <laughs> I stay in Texas. I knew you for 15 bit. years. Yeah, I stay in Texas, so it's definitely a difference, bro. Mm -hmm. People is way more approachable down south. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, did you think that helped you as far as, like, in the long run, like, as far as, like, just living life and, and seeing the two differences between, you know what I'm saying, the city life and the country life? Hell yeah, because I think the time, a lot of the time that when I was. 
when I was down south, mm. a lot of my niggas was like getting into trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then I done already seen like so when my when my niggas was like getting into like selling drugs and shit like that, mm. like I was in it but I wasn't in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was used to, you know, going to my dad's drawer looking for something and oh it's a stack of money here, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or sure. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like powder residue and stuff. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. wanna yeah. I didn't want to be like him because we didn't have a cool relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I stayed away from drugs. So I was in it, but yeah. I wasn't. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it. yeah. I get yeah. it. I get it. Now, if you had to, if you had to uh, reset, man, what would you rather have been? Like, grew up in in, in uh, Little Rock or here? Mm. Like, or you think like if you would have spent all your time there, it would have been a difference with you, like as far as like just life and everything like that. Yeah, it would have been a big difference. I think if I stayed in Little Rock majority of the time, mm. like I would have been somewhere. Uh, in some type of sport, like running, like I was really big into track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I had a record at Southfield High mm. until some some little <laughs> fucker that took my shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but y'all yeah, would have been somewhere like like running track, maybe yeah. collegiately and tried to get into Olympics or something yeah. like that. For sure, because man, I, was, I be telling him this all the time, man. My wife, man, it's funny when you look back on things and you be like, I changed this and changed that, but the one little shit you would change could. Just it mess up your whole life, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If this person might not even end up deaf in a certain situation, like, like one little thing will change your whole outcome of your life, man. Yep. So like, I don't really live with regrets. Like, of course, like I said, the school shit. But even that, if I went to school, shit, who knows? I probably wouldn't have moved back to Detroit. Right. I probably would found me some old southern chick, and my uncle was trying to get me to go to Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you just never know how life would be, man. Yeah. I wish I would have took that chance, bro. Though <laughs> I can just imagine how it is on a black campus, bro. I probably would have got kicked out of school, dog. <laughs> Listen, Eastern is a black campus, bro. You ain't got <laughs> yeah, to be an HBU to be a black campus, so you know it's. They they show you the little brochures, little white girl running yeah, around. Running. You're like, oh, little phone. You're like, oh, this shit nice. Hell yeah. As so, soon as first day of school, you're like, nigga, <laughs> is this Bell Isle? Like, yeah. I thought I was in Hell school. Yeah. Man, man. So you uh you had said something about your pops, man. What about mm -hmm. was your mom in the picture or like? So, so my shit is opposite. Yeah. So my mom left. Okay. She okay. was like, I can't deal with it, yeah. and, and just fucking left me. Yeah. So yeah. so that was that. Okay. I so, met I met her again. I was seventeen. Damn, so y'all ain't got no relationship as an adult or nothing, huh? Nah. Hey, you really don't hear that because, like, that people be saying, with well, my situation, my oldest son um, stay with me. Mm -hmm. And now with his mom, his mom stay in Florida. So people be looking like, damn, like, you got custody of your old son? Like, Congratulations. Yeah. That's how I am my daughter. Like, yeah. I'm full-time dad. Yeah, so niggas be surprised. Like, and it's fucked up because then you look at it like, damn, like, niggas don't be expecting dads to be around. Like, mm -hmm. that's a surprise. Like, damn, for real? You a father? Like, <laughs> man, you be feeling disrespected. Like, uh, yeah, <laughs> man, what the fuck you mean? Like, you really take care of your kid, bro? Like, and like I said, <laughs> with my dad passing away and me seeing how other people act, like, they ain't the only reason why I'm a good father, but that's me seeing that shit. Like, I, I feel like if you if you bring a kid to his, to his, uh, to his earth, dog, his life, mm -hmm. you take care of him. Like, yeah, of her. Course. Like, they ain't has to be on this motherfucker, so you got to do your shit, man. Yeah, you got to make sacrifices. A lot of people be wanting to do what they got, you know, be yeah. wanting to go. Like, the club going to be there, man. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Young age, I made sure I took care of my kid. I was in the club every motherfucking night, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to St. Andrews, man. For real. So, uh, <laughs> man, with music, a lot of times we got musical influences from the people we live with. So, like, you say you stayed with your grandma for a lot of your young years. Mm -hmm. um, who were some people you was listening to based off the people you was living with? Um, so, sh so my cousin, JJ, he about seven years older than me. Okay. So, when I was with my dad, like, he was, like, gone and I would be kicking it with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, first nigga that comes to my mind. Master P and Lil Flip. Yeah, Master P. <laughs> Niggas Lil always Flip. be like, nigga, Lil Flip. Lil Flip, yeah. Man, he had so much influence at the time down Bro. south when he was like 18. Yeah. Like, And niggas just think about that T.I. beef when they think about Lil Flip. They, they think about the T.I. beef, but shit, he already had 15 years in. Mm -hmm. And he was the first nigga to say, if I'm not mistaken, the first nigga to go platinum out the trunk. Yeah, yeah. I think it was first. And he was like 18 years old. The Lil Leprechaun shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember that yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. So, um... My cousin's really into that, so freestyling, so I would get into the to the freestyling. Mm -hmm. Um, Master P. Um, of course, coming back up here, like I would bring the music down here. Yeah. There. So I'll be listening to you know, Master P bring it up here and they'd be like, What the fuck is that? Like, Hell nigga, yeah, for sure. what you mean? Hell like, yeah. nigga, on and on and on. Hell yeah, yeah. dog, nigga. Cold, dog. <laughs> you mean? Cold. Um and then uh <laughs> Up here, like one of my big influence actually is Outcast. Okay. Because Outcast gave me a sense of Yeah. Um uh, I want to say, I guess balance mm -hmm. because 
them niggas was like, you can't say like, they from down south, but you yeah. can't call it southern music. No, 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 you can't. And then you can't, you know what I mean? So when I'm up here, like, Outkast gave me a sense of, like, balance. Okay. Now let me ask you this, dog, because he said that he ain't, he ain't here, bro. When I was listening to your music, bro, have anybody ever said that you got a similar sound from Devin the Dude? Devin the Dude, yep. I love Devin too. Yeah, see, I know it, Devin dog. the Dude in E40? Yeah, E40. Now, E40, it, I ain't gonna lie, I wasn't a fan of E40. I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of his grind and his hustle and everything mm -hmm. like that. I like I like a lot of his music now that I got older, but back then I used to hate E40, bro. <laughs> like I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about, though? Like, I respect yeah. him now and I like it a little bit more. And then watching that versus battle with him and Too Short, mm -hmm. that was a good ass battle, low key too. Like uh, yeah, they were talking about that one a night. Yo, yeah, that, um, what the, uh, the rematch was Swiss, yeah, Swiss and, and, and Timberland. Like that say a lot, dog, for niggas to have a rematch and can pull out a whole another twenty. Like nigga, like I think it should have been for real in Timberland though. Uh, no, I think for real we eat Timberland. Who do you think Pharrell can battle, dog? Kanye. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Kanye. What about JD? Do it got to be Diddy? Mm. But Diddy got them. See, it's all. See, see, all those are together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diddy got them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Diddy got them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Diddy. So you do he pulled from a biggie bag like that's within itself is is wins like it's hard to yeah, beat. And then you pull from the and then you pull from Mace, what? Mace, Mary J, yeah, one twelve, yeah. It's gonna be hard, dog. <laughs> his shit, like <laughs> yeah, his shit. Damn, he got a lot, dog. It's gonna be hard to beat Diddy, man. Chit, Young Jock. Remember, yeah. Blocky and T was oh, on yeah. Boys yeah. in the Hood. That's all. Yeah, Boys in the Hood. Yep, yep, yep. Damn, I forgot. Hey, man, think think about Diddy, man. Like you, you used to watch the band going coming up. Mm -hmm. Like, like man, I thought it wasn't it was the, like the coldest thing ever, the uh, Chopper. Chopper. Yup. And then Fred had the unique style, bro. Man, that was that shit. I used to love that show, dog. Watching Ness get his ass whipped by uh, Fred on the time. Like, Hell yeah. He gonna let this nigga just come up here and beat your ass. Skinny little nigga. Yeah, you from Philly, nigga. Yo, you probably be tough. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, shit, what, what about sports, man? What would you into, man? Like, coming up besides track, like, what um, were some other things you was into? And how so, was you as a student? Football was just because niggas couldn't catch me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, was, I was a little frail nigga, so coach would put me in. You know, for a series and be like, mm -hmm. all right, I'll take you off another 15, put me back in. Mm -hmm. um, always play basketball. Okay. Um, varsity middle school, varsity yeah. in uh, high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, grades was decent. Yeah. Like, when I wanted to. Like, yeah. school wasn't hard because I just feel like yeah. the answers was in the book. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You just got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? So, so my grades was, was bad. Like, I just wasn't doing the shit. But I don't remember a time when it was really, like, terrible yeah man i showed my son my transcript for my last year dog i'm like damn this shit is awful bro <laughs> this is awful like the only class i think i had passing grade in was english just because i knew you had to have four years of that shit yeah that's it man shout out to miss roddy dog strategic yeah <laughs> my shit dog let me get what i need to get to get out of here nigga i graduated with like a one five like nigga like i was i didn't give a fuck because after my first two years i was hooping transferred to detroit public school wasn't hooping no more because they had their squad yep grades went right to the ground I'm like, damn, like, you know it'd be fucked up when you trying, you still ain't even fucking get good grades. <laughs> like, then you focusing, and you look at it. Damn, they gotta say this for a week, and I still got a fucking F? <laughs> dog, that shit hurts you, so I just, I give a fuck, dog. Me and my nigga <laughs> Reg would be skipping, and shit, doing it like that, dog. So shit, but, shit, you, so you went to Easter, man. Mm -hmm. Like, was college always on your mind? Like, you said your grades was, like, up and down, like, no. or was that something you felt like you was forced to do? Nah, that was just... They say you supposed to go to college, so <laughs> yeah. I guess I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just did it. You graduate? Yeah, yeah, nope. Oh shit! <laughs> nope. A lot of times, like I say, niggas will go to college, bro, and just had a diploma collecting dust and don't even use don't what even they use. majored in. I could tell you about five people. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't gonna say five. I'm gonna say three for sure. Three for sure who mm -hmm. graduated from the University of Michigan. Okay. And don't even use their degrees. Yeah, hell yeah, man. And, and that's how it be. And, and successful. And yeah. it's like, and, and they say all the time, like, if I knew this before, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I would never use my degree. Like, I I got a, uh, me and my best friend, we actually own a Medicare company. Okay, damn. There ain't no fucking degree for that. Yeah, how y'all get to that? Like, what, what made y'all tap in with that? So, uh, shout out to my, one of my good friends. I grew up with him, Clarence Broadnecks. Okay. So, he worked for Meridian downtown. Okay. Okay. And he was setting up these appointments mm. um, and getting bonuses to set up these appointments for agents to go, you know, see older people yeah. to get them insurance. Okay. So one day he was like, well, damn, if I'm getting $500 each person, yeah, 
what the fuck is the Asian getting? Yeah, for sure. Hell so yeah. <laughs> he figured that he figured that out, and then called me and told me about it. So we had to get licensed. It yeah. took us literally a week yeah, to get to get licensed. Okay. Um, uh, came out with the company. Uh, got a couple agents, showed them what to do, and mm. shit been rocking since. That's that. Damn, how long y'all been doing that? Uh, so he started off early, so he been doing it for about five years. I jumped in at about three and a half okay. to help him out. Okay. Um, no, nah, I'll take that back four. So he been doing five, four. So yeah, we're about a year apart. Okay, yeah, that's what's up, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what's up, dog. You said fuck it. If they, I'm making 500, I know these niggas making money, money. Yeah, right? and then, <laughs> like, just like a good nigga, he just called me and put me on. Like, yo, this is what you need to do. Yeah. I'm like, all right. And I ain't, I ain't clocked in since. Man, damn, that's that, that gotta be a dream come true, dog. And I had to work for the man, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. But uh talk about we talk about the music you was listening to based off others, but once you got your own ear for it, like who was you rocking with in them high school years? Um, high school fuck man, cause when I was in high school, I know Jeezy and Gucci had a good fucking run. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Hell they yeah. had a good fucking run. Lil Wayne had a good good run. I I hate talking about Wayne, man, cause like I don't know what happened to that nigga. Like his voice, like his sound. Like I missed the Carter Two Wayne. Like even Carter Three, mm-hmm. after the Carter Three is like that's, and he's like my top five rapper, dog. That's, that's, that was kind of like my introduction to, to rap was like the Hot Boys and Cash Money. So Lil Wayne was always my guy, bro. But at the card at three, it's like, dog, I don't know what happened. It's like he ate the motherfucking little thing. He just <laughs> like said, he ate it. Yeah, dog. Like, I think um, I think he probably just got lazy. Man, you know what I mean? Yeah. It just, just comfortable. Like, I got it now. Like, I got the money. Like, if I need to go in here and rap for five minutes, I can. And just. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because when I listen to card two, I'll be like, damn, like. I miss this Wayne, bro. I would say I like the Macy Wayne. Like oh, the yeah. drought. Oh, yeah, 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 um, yeah. The Gangsta Grills. One. Gangsta Grills. All them. Yeah. So they had a... a Squad so, up. So Lil Wayne had a good run. I'm trying to think who else I was listening to. Still Outkast. Yeah. Like, I listened to Outkast, like, I listened to Outkast yesterday. Yeah, Outkast, okay, yeah, man. I think that shit is just, just timeless. I don't think they get... They, they need to get their flowers. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think niggas really, you know... Um, understand what Outkast did? No, they don't. Like they don't. Look at Young Thug. Like that's Andre three thousand on Hell yeah, yeah. You know a lot of I mean? people like Big Crit. You could tell he gets shit from the Dungeon Family. Like Big God, no, Big Crit. Big Crit don't amazing. get talked about, bro. Like he should. Yeah. Here, yeah. See, that's another thing with that regional thing. Yeah. Like you know how many? Like when I go down south, I just went to Atlanta to go visit my friend Chris. Okay. Um, and they got so many, like the, 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 the radio's different. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so many Southern artists are in rotation and you yep. come here like, why are they not playing it? Yeah, there? So all. everything, everything is regional. They know like crit is not going to get as much play up here because mm-hmm. a lot of niggas ain't going to like, you, you going to understand yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking? when he say, Hey, I got, you know, I got the pioneer, you know, yeah. banging yeah. niggas ain't going to know what it is. So he Man. like, you know, I'm swinging, bending corners, mm-hmm. cracking the seal, the lingo different. Yep. Yeah, he did big crit because he came out around that time. Kendrick, uh, Cole, and all mm-hmm. that jump. And like I said, Currency. I remember all of them was like around the same time, man. Wale. I'm like, dog. He just he don't get his just do like he should. Nah, man. he don't. Cause he like I said, he cold, bro. Nigga, I, nigga raw. He raw. He can yeah. eat a lot of niggas up. Hell pause. yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. For real. So man, I asked everybody this question, man. We started this when we be having like little game nights and stuff like that, dog. Give me a song. Or a CD that every time you hear it, you think of, you could think back on a certain time in your life. Like it just paint the picture, nigga, just perfectly. Like every time you hear it, you just be like, damn, I remember I was with Keisha, or I remember I was motherfucking struggling. Ooh, or... this gonna sound fucked up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's definitely do to the extreme. Every okay. time I hear that, I was like, damn, nigga, I was depressed. Yeah, I was depressed in like my senior year of high school. Yeah, and, and that on? was that was just, oh man, my dad and. I, I, my senior year, I lived with my dad. Okay. And he had moved to Hillsborough, Illinois. You look that shit up. <laughs> like, it just sounds fucked it's up. All racist as hell. Listen, <laughs> I was the only black kid yep. in the school. Damn. Not and this wasn't like West Bloomfield white. <laughs> you know what I mean? This, motherfucker. this is like the graduating class <laughs> was 40 niggas. Duh. 40 people in the graduating class God which damn. means it was 50 <laughs> 50 <laughs> seniors in the whole high school Duh. <laughs> that's funny as hell nigga the closest Walmart 
It was 20 minutes away. <laughs> Niggas had McDonald's, Dairy Queen, yeah. and a movie theater. Yeah, that was it. With two movies. <laughs> That's it. Duh, I'm thinking about what was that show used to come on? Uh, Andy Griffin show. That just sound like Andy Griffin. <laughs> man, that shit was terrible, bro. Duh, damn. Like, so when niggas talk about racism, like, I lived it. Yeah. Like, I used to walk to the high school, and they used to be like, call me a nigger, like, walking to the high school. Yeah. Faithfully. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Faithfully. Ain't shit you can do, because you well, outnumber like a motherfucker. Outnumber like a motherfucker. <laughs> like, so, when I'm at school, and I see the nigga, I might run up on him. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I know yeah. I got protection after a certain amount of time. Like, the teacher's going to come and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But if I... Hit one of these niggas right now. Yeah. It's seventy more that feel the same way, Duh, and it's sure. only one of me. I'm telling Damn. you. What, what made your dad move there, bro? Like, y'all I see. Shit. That's why I don't know. I can only assume. <laughs> I can only assume the game ain't what it used to be, yeah. and he had to get the fuck up out of where he was. Yeah. Okay. So you know what okay, I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Put two and two together. Yeah. That's the Damn. only thing I can think of. So did you graduate from that school? <laughs> yeah. Senior year, I graduated from Damn. there. Damn. And next day. Got the fuck <laughs> up out of there, bro. Dog, that's terrible, bro. Damn. Then woke up, the nigga was like, "Where did he go?" Like yeah. I, like I ain't tell nobody. Like Duh. I was gone. <laughs> nigga graduated, threw that cap and gown, got the fuck out of out of here. Niggas that came like. My grandmas, grandpas, <laughs> like everybody came down to see me graduate, and niggas woke up like, "Where did he go?" Dog, got the fuck out. Five o'clock in the morning, nigga. I'm out, nigga. I'm, it ain't no Uber or Lyft. So yeah. the same way, nigga. I done got a taxi. <laughs> nigga, taxi. I, I got a taxi to, to the fucking airport. And then my, and I call my mom. My, uh, I call my grandma. My mom's. Yeah. I call my mom's, and she like, uh, where are you at? I'm like, I'm at your house. Yeah, damn. Like, so when you get back, yeah. I'm this, here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, how you gonna get in? I, I had a friend down the street, Maurice. Like, don't even worry about it. Yeah. I'm about to stay with Maurice for a couple of days until y'all fly back. Yeah. Damn, you left. So you left grandma back in? But yeah, I won't do it. <laughs> I had already bought the ticket before she came. Duh. Everybody like, where'd you go? Like, you, I'm gone. Duh. I'm at your house. He wastes no goddamn Duh. time, man. Duh. That's funny as hell. Damn. <laughs> so that's that's your song. Make you think about that whole little time. Duh. Yep. Damn, that's funny as hell. That was a good story, though. I ain't, we ain't got no story like that, dog. Yeah. <laughs> for, I thought when I went to Gross Point North, that was some racist shit because it was like 30 black people out of 2,000, but you and that bitch were the racist of the races. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I was. By like, yourself, Dolo. Mm -mm, yeah, they, they they leaving nooses at the thing and all type of shit. So you was really like, everybody hates Chris and shit in that motherfucker, dog, with the racist ass teachers and yep. shit. <laughs> Damn, that's funny as hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you mentioned Devin the dude, man. You mentioned Outcast, bro. Like, we, I hate when people name top five and you get the same answer and shit, dog. But if you could do a top five without the obvious, who would your top five be? Just your personal preference. Top five favorite or top five of all time? Because all time I had to do it unbiased. Yeah. My, fa my top, top five, five favorite. Favorite? Because the top, top five, you know what I'm saying, you always going to mm. do Jay-Z, Nas. You know what I'm saying? For most people, mm. Pac, Big, you know what I'm saying? So just a, your top five favorite that you go to. Favorite? Okay. So that would be, of course, Outkast. Okay. Uh... Oh, shit. P. Master P. Yeah. I always gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Um. Damn. No bullshit. Nelly. Yeah. Nelly. That Nelly, Nelly got that, some that, that first album was hard, shit. dog. Niggas sleep on that country grammar, bro. But, bro, the other, the other one, too. Nellyville. Oh, yeah. With the, with the E.I. No, yeah. that was the um, Hot in Here. That was hot. No, that was dilemma. He got so many. Yeah. He got so no, many. That was cold, bro. Ne I, ne I fuck with Nelly that. hard. Um, of course, Tip. Yeah. Ti underrated. I think he'll wash a lot of niggas. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. And then uh, I love. He got to say the locks. Yeah. Like anything, Jada Styles yeah. P. Hell yeah, Jada. Dog, and I love. I I, I love how Jada and Styles may do that back and forth in the verse. Mm -hmm. Dog, like they man. Yeah, Sheik need to sit down, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like, like like Sheik ain't cutting it, man. Yeah. I, I can't remember not one Sheik verse. <laughs> he like that nigga just they 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 close homeboy who can rap a little bit, but them niggas just was the spitters and shit though. Like we gonna carry Sheik. Like, like yeah, we just you just here, bro. Hell yeah, he no. he like one of them off niggas in like state property. Like you knew beans. <laughs> <laughs> like it was like like Petey Crack. Like Petey Crack had one. Yeah, and then that's it. Yeah, but niggas be saying like I remember listening to interviews that uh Meek stole Petey Crack flow and just. Everybody steal shit. everything. Yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? Like, you know how many niggas I, niggas I bit off of? Mm-hmm. 
to this day. And you got to, and you can't, and nigga, you can't be original without getting some influence from somebody. From somebody, yeah. exactly. Because if you listen to somebody so much, it's like hooping. If you hoop so much with people, you're going to steal a little bit of this, a little bit of that, put into your game and try to perfect yeah. it. I mean, you listen to Sean, like when Sean first came out, he sounded like Kanye. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, because man, you could tell that was his favorite rapper growing up. You know what I'm saying? So, and then, but I always say this, bro. Now, Jay Z before State Property, he had a different flow. I mm -hmm. always feel like Jay Z stole Young Chris flow. He might have, like, but but see, Jay Z does. See, Jay Z has something that a lot of people don't have. Okay. Um, uh, like he could, like he has to adapt, mm -hmm. and and you'll see it, like even with his style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. even what he wear, like he adapt to what to the, the time, time is. Yeah. Yep. And we look at it as. <clears throat> You know, oh, he biting, or he took this from Kanye, or he took mm. this from. But you have to in yeah, order to survive. To, yeah, 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 for sure. <clears throat> Hell yeah, and you can't be a hater. Like that's the one thing I like about Snoop Dogg. He don't hate on the new people. You know what I'm saying? Nah, he that just, nigga Snoop like, and everybody always respect him. Like that's Uncle Snoop. And that's why that motherfucker can. <laughs> we can yeah, be rapping we can't, we can't, about seventy. Dog. We can't be the angry old niggas. No, you can't be. You can't you be. You can't be. But it, but it's certain. It's certain young niggas yeah. that is like I, I absolutely the fuck not. Yeah, yeah. Sit, like sit down. Like, yeah, for sure. Like like Juice Squirrel was good. Yeah. You know, uh, R.I.P. Juice Squirrel. He was real good. Mm -hmm. Um, Young Thug. He he good. Yeah, I grew like him. I like what's his name, man. What's my man name? Uh, Carde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He good. He Cord on Eminem, on the Eminem records yeah, that came Cord out. Yeah, Corday Code. So he good. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of some niggas I, I don't like. Migos' new record is trash. Yeah, it's, it, they fell off, bro. Like they fell off. Dog. I, dude, my favorite one from is uh, Takeoff, but he don't really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as like on the rapping tip, I think he the best one out of all three of them. No, no, no. I, I think Takeoff is a better rapper. Yeah, Quavo got the, you know, he got the fashion and shit like that. Quavo's you know the Timberlake of the Yeah, of the hell yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. Timberlake of the Migos. Hell yeah, man. So, man, let's talk about you, man. Like, at what age you decided that you wanted to uh, step in and start doing music, bro? Uh, so, I'm going to say, like, probably 13. Okay. I was just, like, freestyle. Yeah. Freestyle, lunchroom, all the time. Mm -hmm. So, ninth grade, um... I got into a cipher, mm -hmm. and that's when Earl put me up, like, "Hey, you gonna go to the, you know, yeah. we gonna bring you into the studio." I'm like, the fuck is a studio? What are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nigga, I'm just having fun. He's like, "No, nigga, you need to make a song." And yeah. He brought me to the basement on Dexter and Tyler. Okay. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hood, nigga. <laughs> on Dexter and Tyler, and it was me, Earl Mag, J. John, shout out to J. John, okay. Big Sean, uh, Pat Piff. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mike Dub. It was it was, a, it was a couple of us, yeah, and just had us in the studio like recording, yeah. And it'd be like, nope, that ain't good enough. Delete, yeah. Like damn near boot camp, yeah. Like damn, that was a good song I just wrote, a good verse, yeah. <laughs> yeah so like ninth grade is really when he got me in there. Okay, okay, you took it. Now, dog, the name, dog, was that the original name? What was the names before? And how you come up with Dirty D, dog? That's crazy. Again, that's why I call this nigga Earl Mac the fucking Godfather, bro. Yeah. So when I came up here from ninth grade, okay, like I was in Little Rock and yeah. came up here, and I had an accent, okay, thick, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so for the dirty South, right. Earl would be like, all right, I'm about to pass it to my nigga Dirty, yeah. And then it just stuck. Yeah. So everybody would be like, all right, I'm about to pass it, pass the mic to my nigga Dirty, and yeah. Dirty. And so in the hallways, like, what up, Dirty? I'm like. <laughs> well, Alright, cool. Saying. And then the D come from like that's just my first name. Okay, okay. We'll started Dennis. So yeah. yeah, dirty. And it just stuck. Yeah, dirty. Did you, did you have any names that you called yourself prior to that? Nope. Or you just I'm, I'm rapping. No, just rapping. I'm just rapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just rapping. Damn, you like my one... name is DJ. Yeah. So usually I'd be like, yeah. my name DJ. Yeah. So. Well, I think about that. I think about uh, hustle and flow. Like, is it DJ? DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Is it DJ or is it Phil? Is it DJ? DJ, motherfucker. No, that's a classic, bro. That's a classic motherfucking movie, dog. Goddamn hustle and flow, bro. Especially when he oh, made yeah. that beat, dog, to whoop that trick. Oh, hell yeah. Look. <laughs> they got hype, bro. Classic, classic, classic Southern, mm -hmm. Southern beat. That's, dog, I was talking to my wife about um, another person who I was uh, up on early is where well, the whole camp was 3 Six Mafia. Oh my god, them niggas Project awesome. Pat Dog with the Getty Green. Them niggas was awesome, Nigga. bro. That's why I say niggas and don't want to fuck with Juicy J in the in the in the verses low key. You said what? Juicy. Juicy, juicy hard. Like niggas he will he will get us some niggas in the verses better, bro. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I I try to see who would go. I don't know who. I can't think of who, dog. Cause he do got some. Cause yeah. he can pull out his, and he can pull out his own shit. He be, his, what he been writing for, like man. Like I, I'm, I'm, I don't know who will go against him, though, bro. Like I don't, I don't know the the person. It would have to him. be a sleeper. Yeah. Like I, I would put Juicy against somebody who you would think would, 
You know what? Juicy and the game. The game, the rapper, the game? Yeah. Hey, I'm trying to see. Because you got to start early with the game with 50. Yeah. And then if you're doing features too. But it's, it's going to be, that's going to be hard, bro. I don't know. I don't know, dog. Jaden. Jay, but he already did the what's name, He, he though. already did it with Fab. I know, but that'll be a good one. Jaden and who? And Juicy J? Yeah. Cause they got the group shit and they got the yeah. solo shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta be, they gotta be somebody else. Yeah, bro. dog. Cause now, cause now I'm thinking about it. Like Juicy J got a lot. Got a lot of shit. He got a lot of shit to he pull got, from from a long time, dog. A long. He been time. around for a minute, dog. He been around for a minute, dog. Like then he could play his project pack shit too. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's, it's like, like I produced that. Yeah. Fuck. So he got, masterpiece. That gotta be it. Yeah, it gotta be juicy. Man. Cause Mas- cause, yeah, cause he ain't. You already know there's no limit. Cash money junk ain't gonna never happen. Cause they ain't gonna be around each other for real. They don't. They, it, it could. It, it, it'll be. It'll be a best. It but had, it had to be. It had to be P, and then it had to be some of the hot boys. So it gotta be like Wayne and Juvie. Yeah, like it can't be like P and Burr, man. Yeah. <laughs> like that ain't never. That ain't yeah, never yeah. gonna happen. And I said. And I said juvenile should battle mystical. Juvenile don't have a no, Juvenile don't have that many. Twenty? Juvenile don't got twenty. But then he could pull from Hot Boys. Then he was on though. Like he ain't got <laughs> like, he ain't got he ain't got twenty. He can't pull from the Hot Boys and he had a verse. <laughs> like he ain't got twenty. And Mystical don't got twenty. But they could do a ten. They gotta do a halftime performance. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they gotta they gotta do the group shit. Yeah. Mystical got I can tell you Mystical got a solid ten, maybe. Yeah. I don't know, dog. I don't so know. I got, Cause you got all that shit with Pharrell. Yeah. Which is four. <laughs> so that's four right there. Duh. And the shit with no limit. Yeah. Six. That's <laughs> ten. <laughs> like, hey, he ain't got gonna be happy. It's like we doing the ten for it. They should start doing that though. Like not with the motherfucking A class. You get some B class people in there. A hot ten, bro. So they got to do like ten and ten. Yeah. And then have another B class do a ten and ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it like that. Something mm-hmm. like that, though. But then you gonna be like niggas probably gonna be disrespected because why fuck? I got twenty nigga. Like no, they so, don't. Some niggas got got to buy down and be like, hey, yeah. like mystical can say I got ten, and the reason I don't have twenty because I did a ten year bid or was it fifteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah so he can yeah. say so he can say that and be comfortable. Yeah. Like Hell you know yeah. what I mean? Hell yeah. And niggas gotta be realistic. I think sometimes you just gotta do a halftime show and do five songs. <laughs> <laughs> For real, <laughs> like you ain't got it. Hell Bow yeah. Wow got it though. Oh yeah, niggas sleep on him, bro. Like Bow Wow, they said Bow Wow on Soldier. Yeah, I'm like, going. ooh, Soldier got some. It's gonna be entertaining as fuck, bro. Soldier shit trash, but he got yeah, some. Yeah, he, yeah, got, yeah. he got twenty. It's gonna be entertaining. He got some bro. y'all tricks up in there. Yeah, hell yeah, what's that one shit? Kiss me through a phone. Kiss me through the phone. He was the first nigga uh, to talk about FaceTime, nigga. Before that shit was FaceTime. FaceTime. Duh. Then he got the donk joint. Hell yeah. Hey, low key when that shit used to come on, he used to hurry up and grab a chick too. That was that was the one. That was yeah. that, that that's a classic. Yeah, you unfortunately. Are, hell yeah, for real, dog. God damn. So um, you were talking about your first time in the studio, man. You know, what I'm saying with early Mac and stuff. But what was the your first recording that you let somebody listen to? Like, who was the first person you let listen to your first recording? Uh, shit. Who was it? And how was they review on it? You know what? My first recording, I did a song called uh. Khaki's crease. You said khaki's crease? Yeah, because in school we had uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was talking about, that's how old damn niggas are showing their age. <laughs> like, when the, crease trick, the, when the crease in they dog. fucking khakis, man. Well, my mama showed me how to do a crease in the pants, boy. You couldn't tell me man, shit. What? And you had to, don't be double crease. Niggas gonna clown you. <laughs> yeah, we, so I lit, um, <laughs> who I lit, listen to that shit. Because it was a whole, it was a whole mixtape that we had. Like, then really it was just it was just the whole the whole high school. So we had Southfield because Earl went to Southfield High. Okay. And then you had we had Sean and Pat on there, and they went to Cass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like a whole little community. So that's the first recording I really had, and I let motherfuckers listen to. Yeah. What was the review? Like how were niggas responding to it? Oh, nigga, I thought I was famous. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, we yeah. thought we was all famous. We did a show. At Southfield High, we did a show at Cass, and then we were like on a middle school run that yeah, we yeah. set up. Like we thought we was the shit. Hell yeah, duh. DJ BJ was just getting started because he went to Southfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when we had a dude from uh, Dre from Doughboy Cash. I used to talk about how he was uh, at Southfield. Yeah, High. Dre went to Southfield too. Yeah. yeah, we thought we was fucking superstars. Hell yeah, for sure. And all that money that we got, I bullshit you not. All the monies that we sold from the mixtape, bro. Yeah, we all just went to Wendy's and ate. Duh, <laughs> niggas had been <laughs> eating, duh. <laughs> Spent like three hundred dollars, bro, on Wendy's. Dog, nigga, eating good. Dog, think you doing something? Like, nigga, I, I can give me a number a day. 
<laughs> we ain't we ain't up no damn equipment. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't getting no merch. <laughs> Y'all just spent that bitch on food. <laughs> just went to Wendy's on a half day. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, dog. Like, nigga, we balling, nigga. Hell Fuck yeah. You. So who now as you know what I'm saying, with your music, who can you go to as far as like keeping it real on, on your shit? If it's trash, if it's good, you should take this away, add this, like who can you go to that's gonna give you that that criticism but it ain't coming from no hate or nothing? Um, my nigga Chris G. Okay. Um um I met him at uh at Eastern. Mm -hmm. Good friends. He from Cleveland. Stays in Atlanta right now. Okay. Um, he hard as hell too. He hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, say. but yeah, I can let him know. He'll yeah, he'll yeah. let me know what it what it is for yeah. sure. Cause you need those people. Y'all, you don't need no people who's just gonna be like, oh, that's cold. Mm -mm. But then like, nigga, no. no, it's not. Like the last album I had, I did fifteen songs. Okay. And some of them is, is a couple of them the songs that like niggas will never hear. Yeah. Cause yeah, it's yeah. just it's just not good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, yeah. it's just not good. At this stage in yeah. my in my life, like it's just yeah, I'm like, yeah, nigga, you write this shit. Yeah, yeah let me throw that shit away, though. Throw that shit away. So what's some shit in the studio, bro? What's some shit that you need for a good uh, studio session? Some niggas be needing weed, <sighs> chicks, drink, water, nobody. Mm. So what do I need for a good session? Uh, first off, I don't like a lot of people in the session. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't. Be I don't. I don't like a lot of people. So it got to be like good, good people, good vibes. Mm -hmm. Um, so a, a, a couple people is cool, and yeah. then it depends on the record I'm gonna make. Okay. okay um, yeah. so I need I need food. Yeah. Like I gotta eat before, and um, like I said, I might do a drink. Yeah. Like I might do like some cognac. Mm. You know what I mean, or something like that, a little drink. But other yeah, than that, yeah. like I don't, I don't be needing a lot. Yeah, yeah, I just need, I just need the space to be cool. Now, if you can get some colored lights in that motherfucker, some candles like prints, <laughs> I take that sometimes. Sometimes I be having the, you know yeah, what I mean? In the prince, that bitch. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like you want to do that? Make I'm making a certain record, and hell yeah, hell yeah. That's but, funny, dog. but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't be needing much. I just, I just, I don't like a lot. Yeah, I get if that it. makes sense. Hell yeah. Now my introduction to you, dog, was on Kid L Review with G Mac Cat. So and then I'm like, dog, I'm looking like damn, this nigga shit cold. Nigga, the video was cold, song was cold. I'm like, dog, let me look this motherfucker up and see who he is, bro. And I seen your shit. That's why I had, you know, saying sent you a message to see if you'll be on the show. But like when you sent your review in, what you like, what made you doing? Like, would you worried that, that the nigga was gonna say some crazy shit about your shit? Nah, cause he he be trying to clown nigga shit a lot. So nah, man. You, you just knew your shit was dope. Man, hell yeah, I knew, I knew it was. <laughs> yeah. I sent that motherfucker in. Yeah, like, yeah. But just like you said, you know. I know when my shit ain't there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? Because I know certain records, too, that, you know, that are good, mm -hmm. but he would probably view, like, yeah. it ain't that, mm -hmm. ain't that good. And then on top of that, if you clown my shit, like, I'm cool yeah, with it. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm, ain't. Niggas I'm perfectly fine. Like, it ain't... It, it ain't gonna be that yeah. bad. Like yeah. I'm still gonna wake up t the next day. Yeah, man, be and cook good. rice and smoky links for, <laughs> for for my daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And continue about my yeah. day. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's still free fucking promotion. Yeah, yeah. M taught us that. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, man. When I seen, it, I'm like, dog. I'm like, this shit cold. Like, let me see if we got some shit on on title. Cause I was at work, bro. I work midnight, and so when I get done, I just be going through the phone, looking mm -hmm. at that shit. And I seen that shit, watched this shit, like, damn. And you had G Mac on there. He was bigging you up to my cold. Your shit was. Yeah, I didn't even know he was gonna be on there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, that's my that was my introduction to you. And then I just went back and start listening to you know, saying all your shit, man. Like. You got uh what the, you got the self esteem project that's the latest yep, one that's the latest one now I, I do a top three or top or top five so I did a top three on that one and you let me know what, what which one is, is your top three and why okay. mine is uh just cause okay uh type of time yep. and solid Oof. so that's a nice little lineup yeah. see I don't forget like damn I, the type of time is on there <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so what be your top three on that on that project top three mm -hmm. Ooh. I don't see I'm a different type of nigga so I like I like yoga stretch okay yoga stretch is one of my Solid, solid is good. I like solid, and that's because DDS did it. Yeah. Um. Probably anxiety. Anxiety would be my next one. Okay. Okay. Now, what was the uh, what's been the response with this one? Because, like I said, the bro the project dope as hell. Like, what's been the uh, response from people with so this? I'm getting a good response. Like, what I've been doing recently, as far as marketing, mm -hmm. uh, the project before I got a lot of good response, like overseas. Yeah. So, like, uh. Damn, I don't have to fucking look these up, but like a lot of places in Africa, okay. a lot of places in the UK, okay. in Europe, mm -hmm. um, fucking 
Palestine. Like it's just like <laughs> all overseas. So yeah. what I've been doing with this project is marketing mm. a lot of that overseas, and I've been getting a, a great response. Yeah, yeah. for what I want. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that overseas, when you could tour and make that money over there, though, like that's exactly what Nip did. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So then you got another one. This is my favorite. One. I like that. Uh, 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 love like the nineties. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites too. So, like, what made you want to tap into like that old school approach and stuff like that, and get some old school beats or samples and whatever? Like, what made you want to tap into that? Cause I always listen to that shit, bro. I'm always like total SWV. Hell yeah. Fucking um, Monica, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Like that's how. Like that's how I got my daughter. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, sure. like just randomly listening to it, and then you know, women being like, "Damn, you listen to that? Like, yeah, yeah I listen to that." Yeah, and yeah. Just, just having a different outlook. So I love them, that, them type of records. Hell yeah. Do you, so you, I, I, it's, it's stupid ass, but you probably feel like the '90s era is the best era as far as music. I feel like, hmm, who? I feel like '90s is the best era of R&B. Oh hell yeah, I got agree so with you on that. R&B, um, the best, I think, era of music was probably the '80s. Yeah, hell yeah, but yeah, R&B though, on that tip, like you'd be like, damn, like right, I'll be, I'll be, I talk about this a lot on the show, like how we don't have those. Those 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 R and B acts that we can go to and listen to like back then in the nineties mm -hmm. like shit like, they don't lock hells up yeah <laughs> ain't no yeah. choice duh and he, he, he can't write for nobody duh and like with the nineties bro you could easily throw on a little nineties playlist and get to where you want to go to with, with and, the, the young lady you. now nah, you like damn who the fuck am I play like gotta go back to the nineties <laughs> for real and that's why I be talking about like the the R and B back in the seventies and shit like that like sixties seventies they had to be pressure on people who was like our granddads because. Those songs was long as fuck. So if you make mm -hmm. a love to that song, like damn, I might motherfucking be finished before this song go off. Like, the best, <laughs> bro. The best song, I swear, bro. The best <laughs> song in the world for a car ride with your lady, yeah. or a car ride with you know first date. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, fucking song that you can fuck to. The yeah. best song, bro, yeah. is the fucking Art of Noise. Okay. Moments of love. Yeah. That bitch <laughs> is 20 days long. <laughs> but that bitch never <laughs> fails. Do, 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 yeah. do, do, no. do. Man, no. every time. Hell it yeah. Works. Man, damn. <laughs> hell yeah. And you're right, though. You got you to have an admission halftime, nigga. Like, all nigga, that shit. What? Man, and man. Don't, don't put it on the... You know, niggas used to burn CDs. Yeah, don't yeah. put that bitch on there twice back to back. You're not getting to the other songs. You no, could. at all, at all. You straight, bro. You what? straight. You straight, dog. That shit funny as hell. I remember the first time a chick. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> like that, the music is always kind of like I don't know. It's always kind of funny, dog. Cause me and my wife now, nah, we we just get right to it, bro. Like I never even thought about playing no music. Man, look, I that's that's how I get into my shit. Man, maybe I need to go ahead and tap into that bag real, one day and surprise her and shit, dog. Man, like, listen, get you a nice little drink. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Again, hit the with the prince with the candles. <laughs> yeah. Go to Home Depot, get you some colored lights. <laughs> My nigga, throw some R and B nigga. Just sit there, you know what I'm saying. Listen to the shit, have a nice little conversation, then you get into it. But the music already playing. Yeah, 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 for sure. So you what? let the music talk, you all good, man. Dog. Listen, I ain't got to do too much talking. Nope. Barry, Barry gonna do it for me. Hell you. yeah, hell yeah, dog. Now we got this one shit, dog. Talk called talk about the bars, bro. Uh, you had once on your um, album influences. Mm -hmm. uh, you had uh, in, uh, indecisive. You said um, I ice you out till you till you sink. That's the Titanic. But she gonna treat me like Jack, or we gonna both be balanced, or we gonna both balance. Yeah. Now I might fuck that bitch up, but no, <laughs> but that one made sense because I say shit all the time, bro. Why the fuck she didn't let that nigga get on the boat with her, bro? Like, <laughs> like, like, pull me up, like this nigga over here. <laughs> like, pull me up, duh, for real. But if you really love that nigga, it's like, yo, yo take we, turns. Like, like we gonna we gonna be on this bitch together. Yeah. And if we not. Then we, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's what your whole meaning was, is about that. Like, nigga, like, like yeah, don't half ass love me. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna love me, like, I need you to love me. Because if, I, if I'm willing to risk my life for you, yeah. but you not willing to risk your life for me, yeah. we're not on the same Hell we're yeah. not on the same level. Hell yeah, I'm like, damn, she's like, Jack, Jack, Jack. Jack. That motherfucker be like, though, I did this for you. <laughs> I'm dead, this bitch froze. Like, right. Damn. And what I get out of it? A and movie. I just, and I just met your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. A movie. Can't even spend the money from the movie because I'm gone. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shit, funny as hell, dog. Now, uh, on, uh, on, on Love Like the 90s, on Cool Like That, you say insecurities cool like got me going through your cell at night. Yeah. Woo. Give me a time, nigga, that you went through somebody's cell phone, bro. So, or, or vice versa. So, 
Man, women go through niggas' phones all the time. I be trying to tell niggas this all the time. Like, if you gonna cheat, bro, expect to get caught. Mm-hmm. Cause she gonna go through your phone. Mm-hmm. Every woman has this one phrase. I ain't, I'm not that type of girl. I don't even be doing that. <laughs> that that's doing too much. Yeah, all right. So that nigga get a haircut and be like, all right, I'm going out with the fellas. Yeah. Why you ain't going out with? Nah. <laughs> Fuck all that. Every girl looked through the phone. Yeah, but yeah. I remember an ex. I don't want to say her name. Okay, you ain't got to. Tanera. So <laughs> <laughs> what happened was I had bought her. I bought her an Apple Watch. Yeah. And she been saying that, uh, well, she broke it. Okay. So she was in the shower one time, like, all right, man, let me look and see, like, how much fucking damage is it? Like, am I going to have to buy a new one? Yeah. Or am I going to have to, like, be <laughs> able to replace it? Yeah. So I'm looking at the fucking glass and shit like that, and it's fucked up. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to buy another one. Yeah. So it's a message already <laughs> on the fucking watch. So you going to look. And I look, and I'm like, meet me at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> man and I'm like and I, I think it was a time the time was like 7 something I'm like damn you told me you was at the mall at 2 o'clock in the afternoon yeah you was at the mall at 7 yeah so I went in the shower and I'm like hey babe <laughs> so uh, I'm just having a normal conversation <laughs> XYZ XYZ like hey you didn't see like none of your friends at the mall like you just want to go by yourself like you didn't want to like yeah. have your friends help you shop and this that and the third normal conversation yeah. like no, nah, I was at the mall by yourself boom you lying cause you just said <laughs> you lying <laughs> off the like- <laughs> oh, bill cause you gotta make sure you know what I mean yeah. you gotta make sure like, you don't they wanna don't jump right into it. it yeah so I'm like, yeah, so that's one of the ones where Duh. I was like, you know what I mean? Duh. I'm like, yeah. That shit would hurt you, bro. Like, like right now, like, this is the first relationship I've been in. And I ain't, you know, been tempted to check no phones, bro. Because mm-hmm. you would go and shit way beyond when y'all was even together and get mad. Like, damn, bitch, you was a freak. Like, back in 08, <laughs> bitch. Like, you got to find you somebody that, you, like, niggas don't know. Yeah, man. Like, niggas don't know. And yeah. I make, and I'm, I, I make show. Yeah. Like, you and where? Yeah. Oh, you know him from Easter? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, duh. But I never. I don't care. You Man. too close. Yeah, duh. That's I need the fun. bitch to be from Delaware. Hell yeah. Go back to Hillsbury. Yeah. <laughs> Five black chicks. Like, Man, yeah. you hear me? Shit. I need you to be from somewhere else. Duh. That the shit. The moon. Duh. That no niggas fuck you on the moon. <laughs> that phone shit, dog, can hurt you, bro. Like. Man, it, it hurt. Like, I remember, I, I tell this story all the time, bro. I remember my uh, oldest son, mom, nigga. You know how, like, back in the day on Facebook, all your incoming uh, messages would be on your email? Yeah. Stupid. So, yeah, me. I was. Fucking Zuckerberg. Stupid. Yeah. So, nigga, she printed out, she had made my email address, so she printed out all that shit and just put two and two together what I was sending them. I'm like, fuck. She threw that bitch on the table. I'm like, I don't know I what see. the fuck to do. Like, I don't know what to lie. I lie. Like, nigga, the only thing I thought about was the corny shit, bro. I just. You know how like you had your voicemail, mm-hmm. so I put the uh, I put the phone towards the speaker and was playing like some Ray J shit, dog. <laughs> Trying to get her back and shit, dog. <laughs> this nigga said I got one wish. Yeah, yeah, dog. It Lord, didn't work, I and I bet you she probably clowning me to her friends like this nigga didn't play Ray J. You Dumb know that's ass. all they do is clown us. Man, man, for real. That's why I tell my son right now. Don't be sending no screenshots. Don't be sending no, I me mean, no pictures. Don't be saying no goofy shit because you will get screenshot, bro. Is exactly. And you will be all over the school. So you either prepared to get laughed at or be like, damn, one or two. Like, All right, unless unless you just don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. I know a nigga that don't give a fuck. Like the thirstiest nigga in the world. Man. Yeah. And then nigga be like <laughs> I might dog. So what? I'll be on my son's head. Don't be a goofy little nigga. Don't dog. be a goofy. Man, for real. So on on on, on, on Miss Jackson, bro, you mm. said some shit that made sense, bro. You said it's a marathon. I'll show you how I rope a dope. Uh uh this this is the first class I can coach you up about a coach. So when I, Damn, we, I got some bars. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot that. So when you said this shit about this a marathon, I can show you how I rope a dope. My thing is like, nigga, it's going to take time. Mm-hmm. And sometimes niggas got to go for that knockout punch, but nigga, you just seal the motherfucking rope, let that nigga get tired. And yep. then bam, I'm strategic. I'm, yeah, yeah. So that's what that's what the whole shit came from that. Yep. Cause I was, hit, hit, hit it right on the nose. Hell yeah, because I was thinking about Ali, nigga, like, damn, he getting his ass beat. He on the rope, nigga. Just Fuck. Taking and the whole bitch. time, he like... 
Y'all niggas don't even know I'm about to knock this nigga the <laughs> fuck out. Hell just yeah. give me about another 20 minutes. Yeah. And yep. like I said, listen to that shit. That just, it, it's so much shit you can get from it. Like, niggas be wanting, like, they want that overnight fame. Mm-hmm. Or they think a nigga like Kevin Hart just made overnight. And you don't know, this nigga had bad movie after bad movie. Man, no such thing as overnight. Yeah, duh. So, that's why I look at that. that that's an important bar for people just to understand, nigga. It take time. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, sometimes you got a plan. Know that that plan might it might take some time for it to build up and get right. You know what I'm saying? But see, it's not up to see. This is where we fuck up at. It's not up to us to know how. Mm. You know what I mean? That's up to God to know how. We yeah. just got to do. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if we try to figure out how, like we're never gonna figure out how. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, uh, you, you ever like some shit happened to you? Be like, damn, that shit came out of nowhere. <laughs> but that's how it was already planned. Yeah, we ain't gotta worry sure. about the how. We just gotta do. Hell just yeah. Put the work in. It'll work out. Hell yeah, man. For real, dog. Cause you be. I remember, nigga, two years ago, nigga. I remember in the bed just thinking, like, oh, fuck, am I pay these bills, bro? So, you had owe so much money, or just like owe so many bills, and you just start crying. You, <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know where the fuck the money gonna come. Nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, just hurt, nigga, I was in, I was in bed one time, bro. This is my lowest of my lowest, dog. And I'm in that bitch, dog. Like I'm working at Fox too, bro. Get, working probably like nigga thirty hours a week, twenty hours a week, bro. They ain't getting shit. I'm in that bitch, nigga. My wife right there sitting there. I'm in that bitch, almost in tears, nigga. Like how fuck I'm pay his rent, daycare, fucking phone bill, nigga. You, I don't know where it's gonna come from, <laughs> dog. That's the worst. Oh, Lord, when, when you so broke, you just start thinking about shit that you can't afford, like. <laughs> <laughs> nigga be like, how the fuck I pay this car? No, nigga don't even got a car. Like, oh. <laughs> Duh, I told my wife, like, nigga, I'm, I was at bed, that bitch just boo a little bit. Like, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I cry a little bit, dog. I was, at, I was I'm like, damn, how the fuck? It's about to be Christmas and shit. My son got a fucking Christmas list. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna get mad at that nigga. Like, dog, why the fuck you make this list? Like, nigga, <laughs> it's October. Like, oh, you right. <laughs> nigga, mad as hell, dog. So, yeah, so, uh, I see your first take came out in 2016. Mm-hmm. But then you had a gap with the um with the uh, love by the nineties in twenty nineteen. What yeah. what was the reason for that gap? Did you say fuck music for a little bit or you just Nah, so what happened was mm-hmm. first of all that shit that was happening in two thousand sixteen ain't even supposed to be on that bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that shit is not supposed to be <laughs> That shit is not supposed to No, nah, it was something else that wasn't supposed to be on there. It's some it's another project on there that just was not supposed to be on there. That's some old bullshit. Yeah. Um So what happened was yeah, I took I took a nice little Little, little break. Yeah. Um, I had to get my get my life in order because niggas that that starving artist shit is for the birds, bro. <laughs> yeah. That shit is for the birds. Like no, like yeah. get you some motherfucking money. Yeah. Um, get you a the stability and a decent job so you can do the shit that you need to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then streaming at that time too wasn't prevalent. Yeah. As as what it is now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that. I had to get my shit in order. Hell yeah, dog. Sometimes okay, cause I realized dog like. When I was trying to do music and stuff like that, though, like, it costs a lot, bro, mm-hmm. to be an artist. When you talk about videos, studio time, mix and mastering, like, that shit costs beats. Like, that shit costs money, bro. Yeah. You like, want to do it the right way? Hell yeah. I, I, I like asking people this shit. How you feel about niggas clowning people for getting YouTube beats, but don't you think, like, as a new artist, if you, like, trying to break through and you're trying to give out free m- music, why not get a free beat off YouTube just to get your name out there? But then niggas will say on flip side, if that bitch blow up, you ain't getting shit from it. Well, see, this is so. That's not necessary. So it's 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 tricky. Um, mm-hmm. if you want to get the beat off YouTube, get the beat off fucking YouTube. You yeah. know what I mean? And then if it blow up, mm-hmm. you just it's it's the law. It's these laws that we abide by. Okay. Just be a good nigga. Yeah. Right. I made a million dollars off this song. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give this producer two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Give me the beat, like. And then that's that. Like get your beat off fucking YouTube. Yeah. Cause they put it up there for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not just putting like, it up there like that bitch a free beat in parentheses. Free nigga. beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um so, so what I do is, um, like I I I'll go on YouTube and I and I look for the beat. Yeah. Then what I do is I like it. Like on a website, yeah. and then I just I just buy that bitch from for sure from there. But they put it up there, you know yeah, what I mean? For a reason. And if they don't have a tag on that bitch, yeah. then no, <laughs> yeah. no, real. like go ahead and fucking yeah. use it. And yeah. then if something comes from it, yeah, then then you know be a good nigga and do what you gotta do. Yeah, because a lot of people dog be down at people for that shit. Like, I mean, I'm thinking like, damn, if I'm a new artist, bro, and I ain't got that much bread, I can't go to hell of a I can't go to just a lo- your local dude because he gonna still. Charge you two, three hundred for a beat, and I'm trying to get a whole project, nigga. I need about three thousand just for the I can get, I can get a hell of a quotation like beat, (laughs) right? For a hundred fifty dollars. Hell yeah. 
and it's gonna sound exactly how hell of a would have did it. Yeah, hell yeah, for sure. So you know yeah, I, mean? I think too many niggas be having too much pressure on them. Like, oh, I gotta get real B. I gotta get this. I gotta get that. Ah, oh, you don't. And nigga, I'm broke. I'm working at motherfucking McDonald's, nigga. Like, I can't afford this nah, motherfucking. No, but see, that's the mind state. Yeah, that's the mind state. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, if you if you feel like you broke, mm -hmm. then you gonna go and say, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. True, and then you gonna go go through life, and you are gonna feel like you don't have enough. That shit is like a disease. Yeah, no, that's true. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause yeah, I, I I yeah I was hurting in bed that day, nigga. <laughs> 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 Nigga, I've been there, bro. I've Duh. been there. I've and then you look there. at your, you look at your lady like, fuck, damn. Nigga, you just fucked up, bro. Shit, the time I was in that motherfucking space, I was by myself. Yeah, that's worse. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, you looking at yourself crying like, <laughs> like you don't do enough. <laughs> like how the fuck I must pay for myself. <laughs> for real. Like damn, nigga, I want some Burger King today, man. But I gotta no. turn this Boost Mobile back on. No, why the fuck were you broke, nigga? All the good food come on TV, bro. Like all the commercials, like you be broke as hell looking at them commercials, like nigga. Or nigga, how about this? How about <laughs> watching The Matrix all day because you ain't got no cable? Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah! I know them days, nigga. Like, nigga I wish, nigga. I'm telling you, it's a point of time that period. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I wish I could have had goddamn cable. Man, <laughs> I don't want to see another fucking Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> you be watching what's that one shit called? Zoom or, or <laughs> the motherfucking little uh, local channels you be getting watching them old ass movies, bro? Man, nigga, I, I ain't even hook my shit up. Nigga, that, that's how sad I was, bro. <laughs> DVD, I oh, think you'd be happy. Like, nigga, you don't need that DVD. DVD, let me get that. Hell Be yeah. happy to get a new hey. shit from 2001. Dog. <laughs> Nigga in the crib looking at I got the hookup on Blu-ray. <laughs> Sad as fuck. Dog. I remember that's how I got hooked on everybody hates Chris, bro. Cause they get right before we moved from Texas back here, nigga, all our shit got cut off, dog. I had to bad fucking DT to turn that bitch back on. So, nigga, I went to my brother's house, nigga, to start taking DVDs. Like, bro, let me get everybody by his Chris, motherfucking American Gangster. I mean, that all bitch. of that. Shit. I need all of Watch that. Watch the shit. office, nigga. All of that shit, nigga. You would think I got on HBO the way I be setting that dog, shit up. Me and my brother going to the gym just to get the Wi Fi, bro. Like, we ain't about to work out. We was about to watch a little shit on YouTube. That <laughs> used to be my move, too. Hey, you wanna watch a movie tonight? Hell yeah. Knowing that I'm gonna watch this shit. Eight, nine, twenty times already. Duh, for real, duh. God, she don't dude. even know. She don't even know I don't got cable. Like we was gonna watch a movie. Yeah, hell yeah, like yeah. You got that movie set up, and everything. <laughs> everything. She like this nigga got cable. We just nigga, watching a movie. Oh, he got some candles in this bitch. <laughs> he got dark in here. Do you hear me, man? So shit, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Home, Home Depot lights. I'm telling you. Hell yeah, That's duh. The way to go. So with your music, bro. Like, mm -hmm. do you look at it now? Like, I got an age cap. My phone. Do such and such by this age, I'm I'm done. Or you look at it like nigga, I'm just gonna keep moving with it. <clears throat> I'm gonna go until I'm you know until, Take until, tired of yeah, it. until I get tired of it. Yeah, like sometimes like I do a project and be ready to do the next one. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do a project and I be like, mm, I don't feel like doing shit. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then a month, two months later, be like, oh, I'm inspired. Let me go ahead. Like there's no rush yeah. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for me. Like whatever is gonna come from it, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna, gonna come. come from it. Okay, now do you plan on uh, dropping another project this year, bro? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I think you should do another uh, part two to uh, 90s shit, dog. See, I'm going to do that, but I got to do that motherfucker the right way. Yeah. I got to do that motherfucker the right way. But, yeah. like... I can't even say it. I was about to say some shit I got to <laughs> I, I was about to say. But I got I got a joint. Okay. Um, And I plan on, you know, doing something with a a local... Well, I, I, let, let me not say local. With an artist from Detroit. Okay. Okay. Um... That's not M and not Sean. Okay, all right. That's so then yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. so then I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. I'll leave Hell it at yeah. That. All right, bet. Yeah. As soon as you do that shit, man, we are gonna drop that bitch on the show, nigga. Hell yeah. So what's what's some shit, dog? Like you now, what would you tell your younger self, bro? Like on your approach to music, and how you start that you should change to be a better artist, maybe like. You know what I'm saying? What would you tell your younger self? Like, hey man, don't do this or do that. Stop listening to motherfuckers, man. Oh yeah, hell you got to. What's I'm gonna tell you something crazy. It was a point in time Earl Mack <clears throat> told me to stop rapping. Yeah. Damn. Because I wasn't. Because I was, he said I wasn't that good. Yeah. And I look back now and I'm like, damn, what if I actually <laughs> listen to him? Hell yeah. You hell know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, for sure. Or, you know, mom's like, you know, this ain't the way to go. Yeah. Or, you know, just just don't listen to motherfuckers, man. There's yeah. been a couple opportunities that I done missed out on. Yeah. Um, Just listening to motherfuckers. Like, don't listen. It don't mean no harm. Yeah. Is he, you gotta look at it like, that don't mean no harm. Like when Jay Z uncle told him, you know, you'll never sell a million records. Yeah, he yeah, didn't mean no harm. He was sure. just like, I can't fathom that. Yeah. It's a, you know, like I got a, I got a bar, um, 
I think it's on the top of time. Okay. I don't know which song it's on. <laughs> yeah. But I'm like, you know, um, I say, uh, just because um, it ain't for them don't mean it ain't a blessing for you. You yeah, know what I mean? For sure, yeah. Like, it may not be for them to do it, but that yeah. don't mean that you can't. Hell yeah. You know for what I mean? Sure. Hell yeah. Cause people always, and a lot of times people got something to say to you about what you can't do just because they like you said like you said Jay-Z uncle they feel they can't do it they, so yeah, how fuck can you and that's do exactly it? what it is yeah like you see a bad chick then you can't get her right I tried yesterday nigga like why nigga you, that's you and then you like daddy like I hope you don't get it <laughs> <laughs> nigga like, mad you try, like the nigga, nigga be mad and shit but it's like nigga shit your nigga, game ain't like my game for sure now dog we were talking about making a band earlier bro and I always ask this question hypothetically if you had one album a one album deal, dog, with a band, mate. With band, with a band. Mm -hmm. Who will be your other four people, dog, in your group, dog? Four. Yep. You and four other people make your uh, your band. Oh, that's crazy. So I'm gonna say Pharrell. Yeah. Mark Anthony. Okay. Oh, that's hard. So I got Pharrell. I'm gonna go with Andre 3000. Okay. Because it'd be unfair if I just said Outcast. <laughs> like, it'd be unfair. Like, I gotta yeah. pick one. And then I would pick. Damn, that is a good one. I wanna say. Yeah, hard one. The last one always hard. This nigga. Mm -hmm. So you say Mark Anthony for real. Goddamn. Uh, three stacks. Three stacks. And then I would. Oh, and Missy. Missy and Missy. Oh, you fuck with Missy? Yeah. Missy. Yeah, that's it. We keep talking about the versus battle. Missy, another one, nigga. That could got a I, I think she, there's nobody on this she planet that can fuck with Missy. Yeah. Like unless you do like entire like JD like a whole label. You know who? You know who? You know who can battle Missy? The it, it, it'd be a Busta Rhymes. No, no. People keep saying that because they like Busta Rhymes do not have enough. <laughs> he does not have enough. I'm thinking about you. Got to think about like this. Right. Missy Why? co-produced <laughs> a lot of stuff with Timberland. We talking about genuine damn, and Aaliyah. Damn, I ain't and wrote that. a damn, lot of right, that yeah, shit. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. I apologize. I apologize to Missy. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Like, Missy, when you say that, I forgot she did do a lot of co-writing with Timberland. Dog. Way too many. Anything about like, and you can pull from that. Late Monica, late yeah. Keisha Cole. Like she did a damn, lot of them yeah, records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. Yeah, go, yeah. Go, don't. Yeah, don't. Don't embarrass yourself and, and fuck with uh, Missy. Yeah, fuck dog. with Missy. Yeah. That's why Buster Rhymes on. <laughs> it, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna be he, he gonna be good until about song fifteen. Yeah, and in song fifteen, he gonna be like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I don't have like you. You Buster hasn't had a hit hit since she passed Cavassier. Touch it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, touch it. Pass Cavassier. Now, <laughs> if you put that against, get your freak on, yeah. like. Either one, that's, it, it trumps yeah, it. Yeah, damn. And then you got to think about the, the feature that she did, producing wrote, One Two Step with Sierra. Like, it's, it's, oh, yeah, she, she got, got way shit, too many. She, she got, got too shit. You right, dog. I didn't think about it like that, bro. I didn't think about it. Yeah, you got a good band, though. That's a nice little band shit, dog. Y'all gonna, gonna come up with some shit, dog. Only thing about Three Stats, bro, I, want, I wish she could have came out with a solo album just strictly rap. I want to hear that all that sound. I, I I do too, but like, yeah, he said in the interview he was just like I I don't have nothing else to say. Yeah yeah yeah. And this, that nigga, nigga is, this nigga was like, you want me to talk about me taking my seventeen year old son to school? Yeah, yeah. But niggas like us like yes we yeah, want to hear that. Hell yeah. What is that conversation for sure. like? For sure. I mean, the, what last thing as far as the music, bro? The last question I got mm -hmm. is like, what's some shit that you don't like that you got to deal with as far as being an artist? I hate shooting videos, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah. I hate I hate <laughs> shooting videos. Yeah. Like, cause I can study. Like, okay, I remember I looked <laughs> awkward on here, so now I got to redo this yeah. and not look like that. Yeah. Okay, now I got to turn the energy on and turn it off. It's like, oh, uh, yeah. like I'm sick or I don't feel good yeah. or, you know, you got the date, so I got to turn it on and off. I hate shooting videos. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely hate it. I could bet, yeah, I don't, yeah, that shit look like you gotta make sure you ain't look like you said you ain't look looking like a fool, like a f goofy. Yeah, then you, you gotta type, then you might be <laughs> having a chill day. And then you like depend on the song. You gotta jump around and shit like that, <laughs> or you might be, you know, Don't on do the same You know move. what I mean? But it's a chill move. So now you gotta like, like get sexy and shit. Like it's just, <laughs> it's just, it's just too much. Nigga, like that nigga said, they're saying dice moves. It's like acting. <laughs> it's just like acting. Yeah. That's why I don't think I could be like an actor yeah. for my career. Cause I'd be like, man, that's too much. Yeah. There's too many emotions. For real. I, I got too many dealing with what I got to deal with at home. I got to come yeah. out here Hell and yeah. fucking like do cartwheels on tight. <laughs> for real, dog. Now we got this one shit, dog. Towards the end of the pod, we call it top three. I'll give you a category. Give me your top three. All right, for sure. Give me your top three. Uh. Top three rappers ever. Woo! 
Ooh, ever. Yeah. God. Niggas is really not gonna fuck with me. <laughs> LL Cool J. <laughs> Classic nigga, though. Three stacks. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. I remember I need I, X. DMX? Yeah. Yeah, a little DMX. You you listen to a new album? Hmm. Oh, that shit is a masterpiece. I fuck with the what's name, dog. It, it, Except for one song. I was like, Swiss, you know damn well like <laughs> well, uh, Money Bag Yo? Huh? With Money Bag Yo? No, not Money Bag Yo. That was decent. Yeah. It was one with uh Griselda. Oh, I and it, like like DMX was like he go with doing that. too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go. I like the I like, did not Porter uh, produced two back to back songs, number nine, number ten, I believe. one, one with Snoop Dogg. And then the one, hard. After, yeah, the one after that with uh, Nas, in the rain, hard. Yeah, 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 hard. That one song about his son, though. It's like, damn, that shit kind of fucked up, bro. Like, call your father, nigga. Like, that's hard. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, the one with Bono from U two. Yeah, hard. Yeah. With Alicia Keys. What about though? How hard. you feel about like the one thing? The only thing I will say bad about the album is DM, it was a good album. His voice, like you could tell, his voice was going through some shit. Like, so, it wasn't that old DMS voice. Like, of course, he's older. Of course, like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? We know he did drugs and stuff like that. Like, so, I, that's how I say. Like, some of them records is like Griselda, you could tell too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the Nas and J record, I love it, but yeah. it was still it was too kinda much. Kind of dated, kind of like. No, not dated. Just his voice just wasn't, it mm-hmm. just wasn't there. It's like when one of my favorite, one of my favorite rappers, forgot to say this, Shine. Like, when Shine got out of jail. Oh, shit, yeah, dog. He sounded terrible. <laughs> Like, yeah, no, that nigga, I'm like, what the fuck happened to Like, I can't even, like, <laughs> I can't even claim you no more, bro. Like, no, his voice was t- terrible. Man, I, nigga, what? That's one of my, one Hold of on. my favorite. Talk practice. shit to him, dog. I think I remember he said Shine was whack, dog. That first album. No, that, no, that's no. Not. <laughs> that was cold, bro. I'm not gonna change that. <laughs> just, no. like, just like Belly is a trashest movie ever. No, good looking bad. Belly was a trash movie, dog. And speaking of, give me your top three movies. Ooh, Pursuit of Happiness. Every time I get down in life, I always watch that movie. Yeah, Pursuit, <laughs> Pursuit of Happiness, uh, The Big Short, okay, and uh, Wolf on Wall Street. Okay, okay. Yeah. I ain't never seen Wolf on Wall Street, though. I got to watch movies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, give me your uh, top three moments in life. Top three. Um. Shit. When I had my daughter. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you said it because I need to be forgetting about their kids on the show. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Like, don't, don't fuck with your kids Like that's automatic I'm over here Trying to think of one That I don't have That's involving her Like okay. cause that's just Like majority Like recently Like yeah. I just taught her How to ride, ride her bike Took her two days Oh yeah I seen you post it on, on IG Yeah Yeah that's That would be one of them Um Damn what was another Oh When I met Big Boy Okay. I met Big Boy from Outcast. Me yeah. and such an Outcast fan, mm. and then um, being able to go to Atlanta and then go to Stank Only the studio, yeah, and yeah, chop yeah. it up with him and listen to him and learn from him. like that yeah. was hell yeah. I know that was dope. As that hell. was dope as hell. Like I didn't even know yeah. like what that was until I got older. I'm like, damn, like nigga, I was <laughs> there. <laughs> hell yeah, for I real. was there, Big boy, and, yeah. I, and I had a chance to be on Purple Ribbon, yeah. but the actual label went bankrupt. Oh damn! Man, that yeah. been dope as hell too. Yeah, but I, shit, I wasn't ready. Yeah. I wasn't ready. I ain't yeah. had, I ain't had no bars for real. Like I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't ready. Hell yeah! No. All right, give me your top three foods. Foods, fucking tacos. Yeah. Uh, little tacos, man. Give me some soft tacos. Fucking tacos. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> say taco, taco, and taco. Taco. I can do, a, I can do, I do a good Kobe steak. Okay. I can, I can do a good Kobe steak. And oh, swordfish. I love swordfish. Okay. All right. And the last one, dog. Your top three TV shows. Shit, I don't even Ozark. Okay, before Man, before niggas was on Ozark. Yeah, hey, I gotta get hip, dog. I watched the first episode and just fell off, dog, because I be doing so much other shit. I Ozark is hip. real good, but yeah. it was before Ozark, like before niggas was like yeah. before the pandemic. Before, niggas was like, Corona, niggas. <laughs> yeah. niggas watching the Ozark through the pandemic. I'm like, I don't even want to watch it no more. <laughs> Hell yeah. But it's good as fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's good as fuck. So Ozark, Blacklist. Okay. It was real good. And uh, my daughter put me on The Flash. Like, The yeah. Flash is extremely good. I didn't even know it was that good. Okay, okay, okay. What about your your uh, top three hood TV shows? Hood TV like, shows? Like, for, like, Fresh Prince, shit like that. Like. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 damn, that ain't hood. <laughs> but I just, the, the Sopranos. I remember watching that. <laughs> and I was a baby. Yeah, oh, yeah. Sopranos. Uh... 
Rap City the Basement. <laughs> Can we call that a series? Yeah, yeah fuck it. Yeah, go ahead, shit. Fucking go hits ahead. from the streets, like. God damn. <laughs> hey, hits from the fucking streets, bro. Cousin Skeeter. Nigga, like dog. I can go. Hell yeah, dog. Hits from the streets. Yeah. Remember Cetus World? Yup. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. God damn, that's when BT was the shit. Watching that at the school, bro. Man, BT at the dark. Yeah. Niggas, niggas waited for that that one video. Hell yeah. Because I remember with the school, he was like, yeah, motherfucker, yep. he put the car in her ass. I'm like, what? <laughs> nigga, I stay up and watch that motherfucking dog. Yeah, Nelly a fucking legend, bro. Hell yeah. This nigga Nelly, like, shut down an entire TV show. That dog. shit came on for like a month and it was like, no nigga, more. we can't do that shit, dog. None. Hell no, nah, dog. Degrading women. And now, hey, look about Every fucking video is that. <laughs> nigga, every video, dog. That's why when niggas making a big deal about, about that, uh, that WAP song, I'm like, dog, I ain't seen way worse. WAP, that shit, listen. Cardi B is hard. <laughs> she is hard as fuck. Bro, I Megan like, the Stallion is overrated. I, yeah, I like Cardi B, dog. Like, I don't know. I be in the bitch. My wife be playing the music. Like, that, she got dope. a new record with on that DJ Kelly album. That's the hardest record on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the other shit is too I much. I fuck with Cardi B, dog. I swear I fuck with Cardi, Cardi B. Cardi hard. All right, man. We are in the motherfucking show, dog, with a drunk moment or a high moment, dog. Like a funny story when you was one or both. Okay. Um... I really don't be smoking like that. But I remember when I was like extremely drunk. I was at Easter. Yeah, of course. I knew I, 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 I you too. Man, listen, y'all want some stories. I got some stories. <laughs> I'm gonna get y'all, I'm gonna get y'all too though. Alright. So one, I was drunk as hell. Yeah. This is when I first started drinking. I went to this club called Necto. Alright. In Ann Arbor. And like on it. Thursdays, they had they don't got it no more, but you get like to cut this little girl out the newspaper, yeah. and you can get in for free with somebody else. <laughs> yeah. So we all in there free. Like, we going in there deep as hell. Yeah. They like, all right, $15. We like, hell yeah, bitch. coupon. Yeah, like, we in here, but it'd be like 30 of us yeah. with the fucking coupon. Oh, they all got the paper ass. Yeah, so we used to be in this little corner or whatever, drinking and shit like that. I got so drunk. I got my refund. Yeah. I had about $1,000 on me. Yeah. I'll tell you, I was in that bitch crown surfing, throwing fucking money. Yeah, man, dog. Woke up the next day like, what happened? People, thank you for paying my rent. Thank you for this. <laughs> oh, nigga, pay my rent, dog. But, but in a random club, crowd surfing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> throwing money. Like, being <laughs> dumb. Nigga said crowd surfing, though, dog. That shit wow. funny as hell, dog. Damn. Uh, what was y'all drinking, though? Uh, shit. Some, some everything, some cheap shit. shit. I'm trying to think. Because you in college, y'all already getting free with the motherfucking... It was cranberry um, and vodka. So I'm yeah. pretty sure some... Dumb at five o'clock, probably Hell some yeah. shit. Cause you know when you first like start drinking, you don't know what's what. Yeah, you just I remember drinking Saveka and yeah. uh, some nasty shit. Yeah, you just drinking just to be getting drunk, dog. Just to, not even like yeah. the flavor. Yeah. Like you, just you I need to be drunk. Yeah, that's it, I remember dog. uh fucking getting drunk. I forgot what it's called. It's on Michigan Ave and First. It was these apartments that everybody used to get because like the rent was like. Seventy dollars because you was a student, <laughs> yeah. and then like they did the house and shit. I don't know how to. We used to get away with a lot of shit, yeah. but um, bro, like eating raw chicken, like <laughs> off the balcony. Are oh, you talking about like, in Ipsy? Yeah, in Ipsy. Yep, used to throw. <laughs> used to th- he, he threw the raw chicken off the balcony, and I'm like, <laughs> like biting it and throwing it over, like no. through the, the in this raw chicken, like. <laughs> <What the laughs> <fuck>? <laughs> Like, now, mind you, I have no recollection of this, <laughs> but I've had at least 12 people tell me the same fucking story. Duh. So, I'm like, well, I, it must have happened. Yeah. Duh, niggas ain't biting raw chicken, though, though. <laughs> what type of shit? My, my thing was, <laughs> who was just throwing raw chicken anyway? <laughs> like, y'all wasn't cooking this shit? Duh. Like, y'all just, Duh. y'all just bought chicken like it's... Like we in a strip club, like raw <laughs> chicken. Like yeah. who did that in the first no, place? We can make a chicken. Niggas right. looking at me crazy. But I'm like, you don't want waste the food. No, hold on. You had to be drinking some crazy shit to be biting raw chicken, bro. <laughs> crazy, no, crazy that's shit. That's funny as hell, bro. Dog, no, goddamn, <laughs> nigga, raw chicken biting this shit, dog. No. <laughs> no, man, man, I appreciate you coming on the show, bro. Always, Talking man. I appreciate shit, man. y'all, man. Where can niggas go and find you on socials and the music, all that good stuff? So, uh, on Instagram, let me go ahead and look it up. Yeah. Go here showing my age again. Duh, like, what's, 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 my, what's, what's my shit? <laughs> um, so you can go on Spotify, Title, Pandora, wherever you stream, um, and type in Dirty D. That's D E R R T Y D. Dirty as in like dirty and T. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. all we got. Hell Y'all yeah. niggas ain't gonna know. Hell no. Young niggas ain't gonna know about that. Hell no. But um, 
So yeah, so anything Dirty D on social media, I'll okay. pop right up. All right. Um, handsome black guy is gonna pop right up. That's, <laughs> that's me. Uh, you can catch me on uh, Instagram. It's official Dirty. So same thing, official D E R R T Y. Yeah. Um, another black guy, handsome. <laughs> you know, I pop right up. Um, other than that, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Real simple. Yeah. What's what's some shit you wanna leave people with? Like you know, say don't do drugs. Stay in school. What's some shit you want no, to hear people fucking with? do drugs. <laughs> no. Um, so, uh, you know, when it comes to following your dreams, man, um, don't don't listen to people. Again, we were talking about this earlier. A lot of times uh, people um, aren't capable or can't see it. Yeah, you know, sure. either, even Luther Vandross' uh, father told him he couldn't see him. Yeah. So imagine if Luther Vandross yeah, yeah. would have listened. <laughs> For you sure. Know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, I go with... Uh, I got so many. So I'll leave with this. It's a quote okay. um, from uh, Confucius. Okay. Um, he who says he can mm. and he who says he can are always right. Okay, for sure. Hell yeah. Good way to leave it off, man. Yep. You good know what I mean? People some good words and shit, man. <laughs> you, hey, man, we, I, I, you, your dad must still got his hair, dog. Like, you got some good hair, bro. I wish I had hair, nigga. <laughs> I ain't got no fucking hair. You be mad as hell, niggas with hair and shit like that. You know what? That's funny. Like, I, I, everybody say, like, what do you mix with? I'm like, I'm, I'm black. This you know what I mean? Just... But recently, I've had, within the past year, I've had two older yeah. ladies, like, yeah. just in me in, in, uh, they mistake me for being Cuban. Yeah. So I'm guess and then and, yeah. and the older ladies have been Cuban. And yeah. they were like, Hey, what part of Cuba are you from? Yeah, you like yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm guessing some type of Cuban. Yeah. Yeah. And I got maybe a Cuban nose. I thought I had a white person <laughs> I thought I had a white person nose and I you always oh, used to be devastated. And no. they're like, No, like you have a Cuban nose. Like, oh, okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I thought my shit was like Jewish or some shit. Like, <laughs> nigga, funny as hell, dog. Yeah, man, I, my shit went away, dog. I was that time I was stressing, dog. That shit went away. <laughs> I just had some nice nigga said shit, it dog. fell off with the tears. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> hey, man, appreciate you coming through, man. Another I'm episode, done. shoppers. Everybody, I ain't got nobody. I ain't got shit to leave. Just uh, don't cry when you broke, man. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better, yeah. man. Don't 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 have a broke mentality, man. Oh yeah, for sure. It's, it's gonna, gonna come. Don't oh, worry yeah. about the how. Just put the work in. Hell yeah, man. Shoppers, everybody, man. I'll let y'all. Peace.